Okay, welcome. Uh, today I would like to uh, go through the process of exporting data out of the uh, your Serona 3D unit using the Sedexis 4 software. Uh, I already have a video available using the original Sedexis 2.5 software, uh, but with the Sedexis 4 software, uh, there have been some changes. Uh, so here you can see I have a random uh, 3D x ray pulled up. Um, and then, of course, as usual, you can do many things with it. And in the past, we would uh, go to the 2D side of Sedexis, which n technically no longer exists. It's all one software now, um, and go to export DICOM data. And from within the 3D side of the software, we'd go to the diagnosis tool, which was in the right-hand side of it, right, diagnosis tab on the right-hand side. And we would click the button with the CD to create burn a viewer CD for our patients. Uh, this has changed a little bit with Sodexis 4. Uh, with Sodexis 4, the process for exporting uh, the software will come here in the output button, okay, just right there. So simply you'll go to the output button. Now in your output section, you're going to have two, major, two main options for us to look at. One is the expert, export wrap and go, and this would be um, if you wanted to burn a CD for your patient to take home. So what this would create is it will create uh, the viewer CD, not DICOM data that can be uh, manipulated, but simply a viewer CD that allows your patient or another healthcare professional to walk through the software in a 3D view. Uh, it does not give you software, it does not give you the DICOM data that allows you to import it into another software or import it into another version of Sedexis. Then we also have the DICOM exam export. And this is the ability to export out the quote unquote raw data or the full DICOM data that now whoever receives that data can do whatever they want with it. They can bring it into a, a Sodexis, they can bring it into a third party software, they can plan implants, they can adjust your plan, uh, and that differs from the wrap and go. So for uploading cases uh, to, our, uh, to our website for our plan reviews, uh, or what we would like to do is simply click the DICOM exam export. So here we'll walk you through this. Uh, we're going to have our DICOM exam export. We click the button and basically in this particular case we'll export it to the de desktop and now the software is going to be exported to the desktop. So what's happening the DICOM data will be exported to the desktop. Now when as I'll show you here in a few second in a few seconds here so here the DICOM data is being exported and then once it's exported it is important to remember where you export it to I always think it's easiest to export it to the desktop uh, because it'll be easy to find now once you have it from the desktop uh, then you can do whatever you want with it there and I'd like to show you my preferential way of transmitting the data. And now that the data is uh, almost finished being exported, uh, the software will finish. So what I'd like to do is go ahead and uh, drag over my desktop. Now I, I need us to pay attention here because this is very important. Um, there are essentially, not essentially, there are two files that we're looking for. One is the DICOM RM file and the one is the DICOM DIR file. The DICOM RM is actually a folder. So to have DICOM data that somebody can use, we need both of these, okay? So the best way and easiest way to do it is simply select both files. Uh, you do that by clicking, left clicking one file, control and left clicking the other file, and then right click and send to compressed zipped folder. Now what this will do is it will take that DICOM RM folder and the DICOM DIR file and it will convert and put it together into one zip file. And what that zip file is, is it takes uh, you know a large piece of data and it compresses it into a single uh, smaller piece of data. So here we are, the computer is zipping up the file 
And then the last thing I recommend that we do is we name this zip file. And to make it easier for me, uh, and since I'm selfish <laughs> like that, what I would like you to do is do patient name dash doctor so that I know doctor's last name. Uh, so that way I know who the patient is and who it came from. Now this zip file is the file that you would then upload to me. So uh, hopefully uh, this instructions make sense uh, or the zip file will be what you put onto your um, uh, USB stick to bring to the workshops. So thank you very much and I look forward to assisting you on your journey or and or seeing you at, at our upcoming workshop.